In the tropics, rain, not temperature, is the most important abiotic factor shaping distributions and reproductive phenology. Unlike the well-established functional links between temperature and animal performance, we know relatively little about just how rain affects animals. In the article, Hygric Niches for Tropical Endotherms, we extend principles from endotherm physiology and ecological niche theory to develop a conceptual framework for understanding the consequences of rain for tropical animals. Across spatial gradients of precipitation regime, we expect individual performance to peak somewhere near the middle of the range of conditions a species can tolerate. Near the wetter and drier extremes, performance declines, eventually reaching lethal limits. The integrated responses of all individuals results in a species-level hygric niche, representing the range of precipitation conditions conducive to reproduction and survival for that species. Across the range of the species, different populations are located in different parts of that hygric niche. Paralleling individual performance curves, population-level demographic rates are expected to peak in central regions of the niche. Different populations of the same species should then respond in different ways to temporal variation in local rainfall. In the middle of that niche, both rainier than average and drier than average conditions represent those where populations can thrive. However, toward the drier end of the hygric niche, a drier than average year would approximate conditions closer to those lethal extremes, whereas a wetter than average year would more closely resemble conditions where the species does best. We are accustomed to thinking of droughts as generally bad for animals and the organisms that they depend upon for food. What isn't as intuitive is that populations near the wetter end of the species hygric niche can be constrained by too much rainfall. For them, a wetter than average year would approximate conditions closer to those lethal extremes, whereas a drier than average year would more closely resemble the optimal conditions. We know that the mechanisms underlying responses to temporal variation in rainfall are diverse in tropical endotherms. In addition to rain affecting food availability and other indirect processes, rain can act directly, limiting some species' ability to forage, affecting energetic costs of thermoregulation, and resulting in death of adults and young. These direct factors are likely to be more important at the wet ends of the hygric niche than at the dry ends. Of course, each species' hygric niche is uniquely positioned and shaped. In this paper, we reconcile conflicting evidence regarding the role of rain on animal populations and build upon the foundation described here to make community-level and biogeographic inferences. Describing and understanding hygric niches is important, not only from a theoretical standpoint, but also for predicting and interpreting the consequences of ongoing anthropogenic climate change in the tropics, which is rapidly altering the amount, timing, and predictability of rainfall. Thank you for listening. 